All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Jody here. Nick there. And I said Jody here. You should have said Nick here. Gotcha. I always say there. Gotcha. And we are looking at another Wilty video. Now, she doesn't believe me that that's like the, the shorter version of saying it. Let her know in the comment section, please. Which would I like to you? We're checking out today. Does Bob Mortimer crack an egg into his bath? <laughs> what? Okay, wait. Is it like for good luck? Oh, I love to just crack an egg into my bath and then sit in it and just like let it like moisturize your skin. Is it like protein goes right to the skin? Yeah, definitely. It just soaks up and you know, you just get healthy glowing skin when you come after. Don't worry about salmonella. It's not a thing. You just soak up in that egg. I'm more worried about the salmonella, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the salmonella. But we're gonna go ahead and check this out. I keep hearing that Bob Warner's episodes are the best. So we're gonna start off with those ones as we're venturing in. We have two other reactions to What I Lie to You. Go ahead and check those out on the channel. And I'm gonna guess right now because, you know, David Mitchell kind of gave away the last one that he always tells the truth. So I'm gonna guess he's telling the truth on this one. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. We dare you to. Or we'd like you to. Yes, we'd love to get to 100,000 subscribers, so help us out. That's what it's all about. Here we schmoke. Maybe. It's a Bob. Sorry? It's a Bob. It's you. It's <laughs> <laughs> apple pie tonight. <laughs> That's not Is it? It's this Friday then? Yes. <laughs> Following advice from Chris Rea, I always crack an egg into my bath. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> <laughs> what? I should say for any of the, the younger viewers, some of my fans, who, who Chris Rea, <laughs> Chris Rea was a very popular singer. When did Chris Rea give you this advice and in what, what context? <laughs> um, I was making a single for Middlesbrough Football Club's um, FA Cup appearance uh, called Let's, Let's Dance, which I did with Chris Rea. Mm. And after we'd completed the, the recording, he popped me into the bath, and there was an egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an egg in it. He, he popped you into the bath. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's been a long day. You must be very tired. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Let's just, I'll just pop you into the bath. Yeah. <laughs> so wh where was this bath? Was it? At it, the recording studio. It's on a little <laughs> island in the middle of the Thames. <laughs> it's his Rose recording um, yeah. studio. Is. So you've been recording, presumably, in, in a room without a bath. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And then you yeah. finish the recording, everyone's very happy with the track. Yep. And he says, Bob, you look tired. <laughs> maybe your joints are aching this way. No, it's <laughs> not exactly like that. He says, I like that's it, Bob. I think we've got that leg. <laughs> that's your bedroom, that's your bath. Pop the leg in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so weird. Is he Geordie? Yeah. He's well, like where I'm from, Middlesbrough. Right. But he's much more Middlesbrough than me, like. <laughs> and why would he put an egg in your bath? Yes. What was the thinking behind it? Um, I've never found out. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done it ever since. All, 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 I know, all I know is that I woke up the next morning and I have never felt so <laughs> alive. <laughs> Was the egg still in its shell, floating, or had he gone... No, the white had dis dissipated. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. It's non-greasy, which is a, is a, is a boon, isn't it? Is it, is it non-greasy? Yeah, yeah, honestly. It's, it's less greasy Absolutely. than water without egg in it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to mix it up, or do you just crack it and let it float? Do you know what? Yes. You get in the bath, even in the bath where I am now, and you get in and you don't you really don't want to burst the yolk. So the white goes, but the yolk's there <laughs> and you move like that. And you try and get it to come <laughs> towards. See it's funny, so I don't think he's understand what they're asking. Maybe I'm not understand what they're asking, but it sounds like they're asking, do you crack the egg and have the egg inside there or just leave the egg floating? He keeps thinking, do you crack the yolk? But you do crack the egg. Yeah, because he's talking about the yolk. the minerals, and then you just like, yeah, you don't want to stir minerals. it. The minerals. So there's inside so the many. Inside the protein and minerals inside an egg. And so the minerals are going to go in the skin? Yeah, they're really Are you buying different. this? You put it in your hair. You can put egg you're, in you're your gonna hair. You're going to try this, aren't you? You're, you can put egg in your hair. She's going to totally try it. I, I am believing it, though. I believe this is something he does, 100%. Because he's 
complete. If he's lying, he's really good at this. He's so committed. <laughs> and you move like that. And you try and get it to come. I don't know if I'd agree about getting it to like come to me. I, I don't know why, but you just do. <laughs> Have you ever had a game play? play. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and then you get the yolk, and I, don't, and I use it for hair condition. <laughs> Not that much hair, but to condition the hair on my skin. So, just to going back to the original occasion, uh, Chris Rea had already run you a bath. This <laughs> 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 is so weird, that part. Yes. I, mean, I forgot about that detail. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so weird. But if you knew, if you knew Chris, it's just so Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, the other thing it was, is a couple of weeks later, he sent me a gold doily. <laughs> right. <laughs> to dry yourself off. <laughs> <laughs> but so, I'm just saying, these things are just so Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the way Bob describes what happened to the egg white, is that... He says it just dissipates. Is that plausible? If your plausible? bath is hot, then you're going to have a poached white. I'd have thought the white would, yeah, would turn white. And well, you'd no, be no, bits no, of well, white. How no, hot no. is your bath? Your claim is that it dissipates. I'm asking my team whether oh, we right. believe that it would dissipate. Because if, for example, at the temperature of bath, say, 39 degrees Celsius, the white would turn opaque, then your story doesn't check out. Agreed. Yeah, Absolutely I agreed. I think... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely agreed. What do you think, David? I love I it. I think it's fair to say that if anyone else had made this allegation about Chris Aria and an egg in their bath, we wouldn't be giving it a moment <laughs> <laughs> to... <laughs> somehow, coming from Bob, <laughs> it might be true. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I think... You think it's... I think it's true, cos he's, 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 he's been about oh, a bit, Bob. no. <laughs> I think the white would poach. Yeah, the... Yeah, I think the egg is the The chemical part. analysis of the behaviour of the albumen. <laughs> <laughs> David, honestly, one thing, please don't base it on the albumen whitening. It does not happen. <laughs> it does not... I can't have a bath at 80-plus degrees. <laughs> <laughs> is it's that the temperature at which an egg white will... 80 to, it'll start at about 80, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, don't, please don't base it on that. <laughs> what should I base it on, Bob? <laughs> what are you going to say? Instinctively, I believe it. Uh, we're going to go true. What do you think? Is there a chance that he's lying? Well, there's always a chance he's lying. No, but do you think that he's lying? I think I would have believed it far more beyond a guy just running a bath for him and being like... <laughs> Gosh, There's some weird it. people out there, I okay? I don't know. The, from what he talked about with his tooth, I think he I think he bathes with an egg. I do. I think so as well. But going back to this guy drawing him a bath, that is like the most weirdest thing, right? Mm -hmm. That is so odd. Mm -hmm. And... To not explain why there's an egg mm -hmm. in there. As if it's like just common knowledge. And you just you know get what? in the bath of the it's egg. Like, it's like I put a chocolate on your pillow. You, you spend the night at my house. Like, I put a chocolate on there. We understand that. It's kind of weird to other people. Like a chocolate on your pillow. Oh, but people no, like that. Best. Right? Yes. But I, I drew you a bath. I put an egg there for you. No, but. As if it's just you, common knowledge. Would it be any weirder than I drew you a bath and there's bubbles in it? I put some Epsom salt if in you, it. If, if a random dude drew me a bath. I would first think it's weird, I'd sex it, and then next I'd be like, thanks, I appreciate it, I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> I think that's what he did. Yeah, absolutely, because he's easygoing. You're saying Ooh. true. Okay, so Bob, Chris Rhea, <laughs> eggs, <laughs> bars, is it the truth? I don't know whether to believe is it or not. Is it a lie? This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was telling... A lie. Oh. Dang it. Now, I do have to say, when you watch this and you edit this, you're going to see me wink at the camera because I was totally lying. I have, like, eggs are used for your hair. People do soak their hair in eggs to, like, help the protein stuff. But I would never step in a bath with an egg because I really would be worried about salmonella. I really would be worried about it. He said, he said, Chris Rhea put an egg in his bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. Don't be a 
obviously a lie. Who could possibly believe that? <laughs> that you did? I did. It's more likely that someone was stuck in a car wash for three hours. doesn't crack an egg into his bath following advice from Chris Rea. That is awesome. Oh I, my god. He really, he, he really sold that. He sells it so well though. It's so weird. Dang it. I've been yeah, wrong twice so far. We all believe it. Well, I was gonna say no, but it was really the tooth story that I was like, no, like, he really does take care of his own freaking teeth, like how he was saying it yeah, was that true. Yeah, that was so insane. And he had so many details here. It's so Chris. If you knew Chris, you would totally understand. Yes. It's so him. Yes, yes, yes. But, yeah, that was interesting. The thing that really, I mean, David Mitchell is so funny in these. Like, I, I love seeing him probably closer to how he really is. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's very entertaining. But he makes a great point early on. You had a bath at the recording studio? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're at a recording studio, and then the next natural thing is, like, I drew a bath for you, put an egg in it. Like, He's honestly just laughing at me right now, this Bob guy. He totally got me. Hook, line, secret. Got them as well. And now I know not every time when Bob's on one of these things, he's telling the mm -hmm. truth. I'm not sure how many times he, he was on here, but, man, that got me. That was awesome. That was hilarious. Let us know which of the would I lie to use is your favorite that we need to react to. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Goodbye.